The next graph that we'll look at is creating a line graph. And in a line graph, um, we're usually graphing something over time. We're looking at something over time. So in column A, I have years from 1990 to 2000. Column B, I have the number of brown eggs consumed. Uh, I put in numbers here. And then column C, I've got number of white eggs consumed. We're going to look at two different uh, groups at the same time. Uh, you can just do one. You could do two. We could have multiple different groups here. But we're going to look at brown eggs and white eggs consumed. So I have my data here in my uh, setup in a table format. I'm going to highlight all of this data and click the Insert Graph button. And if you notice at first, our preview doesn't quite look right here. Um, I need to change something. And if you look at our legend, you can see that it has year as well as the two different types of eggs on here. So I want to change this year. I don't have anything on my x-axis here, so I need to add years to my x-axis. So to do that, I'm going to click this box here that says use column A as labels. And that now will put uh, our uh, years on the x-axis and then the number of brown eggs and number of white eggs consumed on the y, uh, on the vertical axis here. Um, I want to change this type of chart. Google automatically does the area graph. I want to do just a straight line graph. Um, so I'm going to change that under the charts option. So now we have a line graph. And now I need to add a title and to uh, add labels for my, for my axes. My horizontal axis is going to be year. And my vertical or y axis is going to be number of eggs. And then my title is going to be the, the number of eggs consumed per year. And if you notice, we have these half marks here. Um, it's OK to leave those. I don't really want to keep those here. So I'm going to go back and edit my horizontal axis. And if you scroll down here, you can change the grid lines. Uh, I'm going to select 4, and that should do that pretty well, so that gives us four grid lines. If I wanted to have the years broken down a little bit farther, I could do maybe six, or I could do eight. Um, looks like six is going to be the best bet here, so we'll do six. So I have number of eggs consumed per year, number of eggs on my y-axis, the year, and then I have brown and white eggs. Again, if I wanted to change the color of these different lines, I could do that. Maybe I want green for the brown eggs, and for white eggs, I want yellow like that. When I've got everything set up I click insert and then again to further edit this chart or to uh, save it as an image I click this little down arrow. I can edit my chart, I can delete it, I can save it as an image, I can also publish it. So that is a line graph.